<coughs> a question from this gentleman. I, I promised I wouldn't do it, but he's really had his hand up for an awfully long time. Um, well, I've been curious uh, all day. I was thinking about asking you uh, what your thoughts were as a historian and a scholar about the uh, state of human intelligence. Do you think it's uh, getting better or worse? <laughs> well, given all your subjects tonight, I mean, I'm hoping for the artificial because the. <laughs> The real is pretty disappointing. I mean, Can you give a just as I have a fetus in my own freezer waiting for the stem cell, <laughs> I'm holding out for stem cells. Um, you know, anything, it's like people saying, uh, the Catholics say we're against artificial contraception. Yeah, the one that works. <laughs> artificial intelligence might be that good. I, I'm only, I only say it's possible. Uh, we're, we've done, we are a very poor species as it happens now. I mean, we. Anyone who examines themselves with any honesty has to know that the theory of evolution is correct. <laughs> not every theory. There are several theories. It's, it's not true to say evolution is only a theory. There are many competing theories of evolution. We know that it occurred, though. We just don't know exactly how and why in each case. But, um, our prefrontal lobes are too small. Much too small. That's the problem of the birth canal. I'm very sorry to say for those who like their birth canals tight. <laughs> um, <laughs> For which I think there'll always be a demand. <laughs> were, there not, were there to be looser ones, the skull could have a chance to. <laughs> Prefrontal lobe is too fucking small. Okay. The adrenaline gland, by contrast, is much too big. We don't need that much adrenaline anymore. We don't need the fight or flight. We're, we're, we're equipped for far more adrenaline than we need. The oppositional thumb is a bit of a sort of hand job. Um, it's all very disappointing. Um, the urinary tract, don't start. <laughs> so we're very imperfectly evolved mammals, but we have only, all we've got is the poor candle of reason and irony. But, uh, but until we stop being afraid of death or the dark, um, we will, I think, continue to be very primitive. Yes. And the moments of enlightenment will be very few and very vulnerable. And so we should cherish the ones that we do have and not allow them to be trampled upon by barbarians and mm. philistines and creeps, and pukes, <laughs> and kindred cattle. It's important. Who's next? I have a question.